Hello everybody. Today is Tuesday, March the 17th, 2015. My name is Michael Wright and this is the Ichimoku Kink Ohio daily video. Just before going forward, please do pause the recording and read over our risk disclaimer. All right, let's jump right into the members area. Uh, members just log in, and then obviously this option will pop up with a drop down as well as this box here. Um, but we are in three open positions. Uh, one position is the uh, short pound kiwi. Stops here are now at break even, but this was indeed the setup. X, we will just now slightly move into this area. I'll talk about this setup uh, more in detail briefly. Um, but we entered at 2.0082. All right, stops were at 2.16, but now they are revised to break even. And the ideal target is the 199 zone, which represents the 61.8% fib on the upswing, as well as the 161.8% extension um, that we will shortly go over. At the same time, we are in the short ASEAN. Um, ASEAN similar, a nice breakout that we had a retest as well as a double top. So we entered on this position here. Okay, um, everything remains the same. Entry, stop loss, target, and then the other pair is the long Aussie Kiwi. Okay, um, also in this position as well, the setup is kind of changed, so I'll go over the update on the Aussie Kiwi, um, but that setup still remains valid, and going forward, um, the pairs we're looking at, we also post um, setups in terms of different entry zones that we are keeping a close eye on, or certain setups that you guys um, should keep an eye on, and we'll continue to do that throughout the weeks, etc., and also uh, post in the chat room as such, um, updates, etc. I know a lot of you guys don't want to receive too many emails, so just jump in the chat room at any time and uh, you'll see that there. Alright, so let's jump right into the swing of things and uh, look at these setups from current price action, that is. Um, Ozzy Kiwi, so. A nice bounce to the top side. You can see the setup has changed a little bit. Um, now putting trendline support here, but it held the 76.4% 70, fib on the upswing from 1.0281 to 1.0528. And once we really get that break above 1.0480, that will start to put a lot of topside pressure, in my opinion, on the pair, as we are already showing some bullish momentum divergence on this four hour time frame. For the ASEAN, okay, ASEAN, um, nothing changed that much, but uh, the big notice is that we believe the top side ended here. Um, thus far, we had three waves to the downside for one, so this is one, two, and then we're looking for at least another move lower, okay, so keep a close eye on that. Um, could it make new lows? Indeed, but we're gonna first eye that 91 area, um, and then really see how the yen crosses across the board are uh, filtering out. But 91 is preferred, okay, for the pair. And from the Ichimoku standpoint, all right, on the ASEAN, what we have is that uh, we are below the cloud. The cloud is also thick, okay. Um, we're changing this. Um, at one point we were looking for the top side, but we move with the market. Um, setup still the same. But the biggest part is that we are below this uh, cloud. Trend line was was um, broken. We slide this W over here, X, and this was the Y, okay? Um, but the cloud is uh, bearish. We are below the cloud, and now we're very close to the um, taken Kijin bearish crossover. Um, didn't get it yet, but prices are below both the Tenkin and the Kijin, which is beneficial for us, considering we are um, 
eyeing lower levels but you can see when as a crossover it tends to follow suit the uh, Ichimoku was built for um, Yin pairs, so obviously this plays out. But once we get a bearish crossover, that will also give some additional color to this uh, bearish outlook. But again, the viewpoint still remains towards that 91 area. All right, and the other pair is the Ozzy Kiwi. Um, Ozzy Kiwi, uh, let's continue watching this pair. Um, still looking at upside, obviously but the future cloud is bearish so that does not bode well um, but we have slipped above the uh, tanking the tanking is the blue line and we now move and we now eye the uh, Keijin the pink line which is about 104 and by that point we should be already at break even alright so that's the ideal play for the current play for the current uh, positions and if we look at uh, Yen Crosses right now, uh, mostly because next up we are eyeing this pound yen, which might be coming closer than not. <sighs> pound yen, nice trend line. Um, everything about this pair is already bearish. Um, we definitely saw this bounce as a potential. That could have been, um, I hope anybody at least got 100 pips off of that move. Um, but keep a close eye on this trend line. As long as it holds, upside is possible. But the move is bearish. 4-hour cloud is bearish. We're below both the Tankin and the Keijin. Um, daily cloud. Future cloud is thinning out. Prices tend to attract um, the thinness of the cloud. But once we get below, don't rule out a crossover on the cloud. But we did get a um, crossover on the daily cloud. So in the uh, medium term, this is bearish. Okay. Um, so watch for that. Um, but ideally, we would like to see a break and a close below the 4-hour cloud before... I'm um, really jumping the gun. All right. Um, take away this and put this trend line back. So that's the pound yen. Let's look at the other yen pairs. Um, Euro yen, also similar. Um, similar, but cautious because we have a weak taking Keijin cross. What is weak? Weak is when um, is a bullish crossover but is below the cloud. Strong is when it's a bullish crossover but it's above the cloud. Okay? So in any case we have a weak crossover so a good play may turn out to be um, keep a close eye on the Euro pound. And there we go. Makes sense, right? Makes sense correlation wise because obviously we said pound yen was below the four hour cloud, everything was bearish. Um, Euro yen was getting to get some bullish signals, weak one. But now we have Euro pound, and Euro pound could end up being a interesting play. Um, it could end up to be an interesting play. I will keep my eye on that and let you guys know more in the chat room but this is really going to be the first and we already had this weak um, crossover so you guys can see here how the weak crossover plays okay weak crossover prices tend to push higher um, the bigger trade um, stops against the 71 area um, I may actually make this a, a trade setup as well um, ideal for pullbacks and because it has been depressed for so long um, it may be time for at least a little bit of a bounce for the pair okay uh, look at the RSI divergence not really any divergence but um, still do like the setup on this pair at least for longs from an Ichimoku standpoint on the four hour time frame and on the daily chart um, coming against the Kijin so don't rule out a possible test and then a pullback and that pullback ideally is the one that we'll look for as a play alright guys I want to thank you all for watching the Ichimoku King Ohio daily video if you have any questions email us at info at globalfxclub.com or um, Skype us at globalfxclub Cheers and good luck trading.